super interesting news from Google and Chrome because they have just added a built-in AI to Chrome for the Canary and development versions, which means that it's still experimental, but most likely it will be available in the official version of Chrome also sometime in the future. So what they have done is added the AI using Gemini Nano to Chrome and it's designed to run locally on most modern desktop and laptop computers. And with built-in AI, your website or web application can perform AI-powered tasks without needing to deploy or manage its own AI models. So you can directly use the Gemini Nano from the browser and you don't have to worry about maintaining or downloading the latest versions of that yourself. And since we can run this locally, it means that we can use the AI uh, without internet connection, for example, and we don't also have to pay for subscriptions like ChatGPT or Copilot. But enough talk, let's see how this actually works. So over here, they have a form where we can join early preview program. As said, this is still uh, experimental, but I found the easiest way to use this actually through this uh, versions website. So if you go to this address, I'm gonna leave it down the description too, but uh, Virtual actually has already built a chatbot using the Virtual AI SDK with the built-in AI, the Gemini Nano. And this is a great demo for this functionality. And what they have here is uh, good instructions on how to actually start using this built-in AI. So the Gemini Nano's prompt API is exposed on the browser's window.ai function. And to use this, we need to first uh, install Chrome version 127 or higher. And at the time of recording this, uh, it can be the Canary version of Chrome or the dev version. And I actually didn't get it working with the Canary version, so I recommend downloading the uh, dev version of Chrome. So if you go to the google.com slash chrome slash dev and download it from there and install it, that should have the window.ai functionality. So right here, I have now the dev version of Chrome installed and I have the application now working, but chances are that you still got some errors and there is these experimental flags that you need to enable. So you can just copy these from here and do it for all three of these and copy these to the address bar. So first one is the prompt API for Gemini Nano. Uh, which needs to be enabled. Then the second one is enables optimization guide for on device and set that to enable bypass pref requirement. And then last from the components, we need to check for updates on the optimization guide on device model. And once you have done those, you probably need to restart your browser, but after that you should have the application working. So let's test this out. So let's try asking something from it. Okay, looks like it's giving us some answers. Let's ask some other question. Okay, so as we can see, uh, this LLM is updated in September 21. So uh, as said, we needed to download the LLM to our computer and after that we can use it. So that LLM uses uh, data up to September 21. So let's see if it can perform some writing tasks. Okay, it's not as good as ChatGPT, obviously, uh, but this is something we can actually use in our applications. And for example, some applications that needs processing of uh, text or language, this might work very well. So this was the demo application from Vercel for this feature. But since it, the AI function is part of the window object, we should be able to use it like this. So if we open up our console, when we type in window.ai, we can see it suggests it already. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so looks like we have some functions in our AI and let's try it out. So we have this create text session. I assume that's the one we want to use. Let me make this a bit bigger. So I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, we get undefined. Let's see what the session is. Uh, okay, it's a promise, so I guess we need to await it also. So let's do it like this. 
then see what the session is. Okay, now we have something in here. And uh, we have a prompt function and we have an execute function. Not sure which one to use, but let's try the execute function. So like this, and this is the input. I assume this is the question. Uh, let's ask it something. Okay, it's again a promise, so let's await it. Okay, looks like it gives us the correct answer and we can use it through the console. So uh, that looks good. This is basically, we could basically use this like this in our any JavaScript application or in our Next.js application. And uh, of course the demo application from Vercel uses also the Vercel AI SDK which is good for interacting with AI services. But if we just wanted the bare bones of this AI functionality, we could do it uh, using the window.ai function directly. So this is pretty cool because you have your own AI running locally on your computer. And this should work also offline. So let me just uh, turn off my Wi-Fi and let's try it again. So let's await session execute and ask it something else like this and it gives us the correct answer and again we are now offline i don't have my wi-fi on so this is working offline this is something that wouldn't work with ChatGPT or github copilot for example because those require us to run our uh, prompts on the server and not locally on our computer so this is super cool so why would we use this then? Well, let's see the blog post again. And I think they added some benefits also over here. Okay, right here. So benefits of built-in AI for web developers. So first of all, ease of development. Uh, as a browser distributes the models, it takes into account the capability of device and manages updates to the model. So we don't have to worry about updating the models or using a sufficient one because the browser is taking care of that. So it's super easy to use. And another one is our access for hardware acceleration. So we are getting the best performance on each device. And then some benefits of running it on the device actually. But one obvious one is local processing of sensitive data. So if you have a sensitive data in your application that you want to process, you don't have to send it to a third party server because you can process it locally. Uh, and then the user experience is better because uh, in some cases ditching the round trip to the server means that you can offer near instant results. And then one we already discovered was also the offline AI usage. So users can access the AI features even when there is no internet connection. And this means that uh, sites and web apps can work as expected offline or with variable connectivity. So this will be super interesting to see uh, if this will be actually part of our browsers in the future, which I think it will, uh, which would mean that we don't need to contact services like ChatGPT to get AI functionality to our applications, but we can do the AI stuff locally and even offline. As said, this is still experimental feature, uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes and when they add this to the official version of Chrome. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this Chrome built-in AI.